Hey, and welcome back to the channel, Grandpa KC. Today we're taking a trip down a rabbit hole about science fiction and tech. And sometimes the line between science fiction and tech gets really blurry. And we're going to be talking at a connection that's recently come to mind about the Cybermen and Apple AirPods. You may have heard they have just filed a patent about their AirPods. And it's an eerie connection. Let's get into it. The Cybermen are iconic Doctor Who villains. Part machine, part humans. They're all about upgrading the body and controlling the mind. They achieve this through creepy ear implants that stuck out, uh, suck out our emotions and turn you into mindless machines. Yike! Now, the earbuds are far from villainous mind control devices, hopefully. But there is something undetainably futuristic about these new earbuds. And they seem to anticipate your needs with features like autoplay and Siri into integration. And they feel almost like they're reading our mind. Is it just coincidence? Let's look at the patent they filed. Well, apparently Apple has been working on this technology for the past 10 years and just filed a patent on this technology. With Elon Musk's already with Neuronet, already been able to connect to the brain and actually have a person with these implants be able to move a mouse and things like that. Apple's next gen AirPods with brain wave monitoring is very futuristic, but can be very scary. Let's take a look at what the patent says. Apple's patent introduces an ingenious solution, a biosignal sensing device with dynamic electro selection. This wearable electronic device encompasses AirPods consisting of a housing of numerous active reference electrodes. These electrodes are strategically positioned to measure bio signals, including EEG, EMG, EOG, electrocardiogram, galvanic sting pressure, and blood pressure volume. This is an incredible thing because if it can learn to read your minds, and with AI, that's not far from the solution because Elon Musk Neuronet basically reads the EEG and EK, in EKG and signals and reads those signals and converts them in commands. How far is it for them to now transmit those signals into your brain? It gets scarier than that. The question we have to ask ourselves, for the sake of convenience, are we willing to give up our privacy? By the way, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the thank you button. That's how we support the channel. And give us a comment. Where do you think this is headed? Between Eli Musk's Neuronet and Apple having now reading your brain waves and your EKG and be able to know your emotions and how you're thinking. How far do we let this go? They already know everything about your personal lives, and now they're going to read your mind. And you know that this won't stop. They've been doing this in this technology and testing it for the past 10 years. And how far would it go? Put it in the comments. I mean, we're going to get, are we going to get to this point where now you're going to be hooked up to your headset and your, and your earbuds will read your mind and, and bring on, put on the television what you want. With them already being able to listen to you, what you say on your phone, be able to view what you're viewing, see what you're seeing, and send ads to your phone, and all of this before you even think. They can read, they can see where you're going, they can see where your car has been, they can do all of this. And now Apple's been testing the ability to read your mind, to know what you're thinking, how are you reacting, and, and sending images to you with, use it with AI to affect the way you think, sleep, breathe, and buy? And how far is it from now that one day they will be able to send signals into your brain through AI and affect how you think when you get up, what you eat, how you buy things, where you go, what vacation you choose? All of these things, can they be controlled? It's not that far from the truth. The government's working on mind control for a very long time. Again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like more content like this. Check out my other videos. 
This is your grandpa, Casey. You have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.